The term alveolar ridge refers to the crescent-shaped osseous part of the upper and lower jaw that supports the teeth and contains the tooth sockets. Therefore, the alveolar ridge is the tooth-supporting osseous part of the jaw. After the loss of a tooth, the bone no longer receives chewing forces where the tooth was lost, and the alveolar ridge begins to regress. First, the alveolar ridge decreases in width, and then also starts to regress in height. Often, an implantation is no longer possible after alveolar ridge atrophy. Without bone augmentation surgery, damage would result to the nerves, or, as in this case, to the maxillary sinus. In the animation, you see a so-called onlay plastic. The patient's own bone is extracted, for example, from the jaw angle, and transplanted to the desired location. This re-establishes the sufficient bone height necessary for an implant, and thus for a fixed dental prosthesis. You can learn more about bone augmentation in the video by the same title. How fast the bone regresses after the loss of a tooth differs in every person, and depends on various factors. In some people it takes months, in others it may take years. Sometimes a so-called flabby ridge forms. This is understood as an alveolar ridge consisting of connective tissue. This is usually observed when the osseous alveolar ridge regresses at a very quick rate. For example, it may be due to an ill-fitting prosthesis. In such cases, a fibrous ridge remains, which is not usually suitable for an implantation.